लथवा न्यूज के स्टूडियो से नवीनतम अपडेट लगभग चार मेट्रिक टन खासी मैंड्रीन सेंट्रे बिक्री के साथ 17 दिसंबर को जेड फेज खत्म हुआ बेंगलुरु की लाल बाग बोटेनिकल गार्डन में आयोजित उत्सव की अंतिम दिन कई स्टॉलों में न केवल खासी मैंड्रीन बल्कि लकाडोंग हल्दी और मूल शहद जैसे अन्य स्थानीय पसंदीदा उपज भी बाजार में छाया रहा खाद्य प्रसंस्करण विभाग के विशेष कर्तव्य अधिकारी मकबुल लिंगडो सुयम ने बेंगलुरु से सकारात्मक प्रतिक्रिया पर संतोष व्यक्त किया और स्थानीय खुदरा विक्रेताओं और बिग बास्केट और रिलायंस फ्रेश जैसे प्रमुख श्रृंखलाओं के साथ सहयोग करने की योजना पर जोर दिया ये बड़े हुए बाजार पोच खासी मैंडरिन संतरे की बिक्री बढ़ाने के लिए महत्वपूर्ण फेस्टिवल के दौरान शिलोंग से परिवहन के दौरान ताजगी बनाए रखना एक बड़ी चुनौती थी मेघालय में कम उत्पादन की समस्या के समाधान के लिए राज्य सरकार अपनी साइट्रस रिजुवेनेशन प्रोग्राम पर विचार कर रही है इस कार्यक्रम का मकसद अगले चार से पाँच सालों में पुरानी बगीचों को पुनर्जीवित करना उत्पादन बढ़ाना और खासी मैंड्रीन संतरे की स्वाद और गुणवत्ता को संरक्षित करना है See, we have come here not exactly to see the first. The main objective here is that we want to showcase. Although we had, uh, you know, we have AMR, maybe we could do something like this pro- similar program in Mumbai also, but that we have to wait and see. But the response here in Bangalore was really good because last three days we were in Forum Mall, we were in uh, in uh, what do you call Lulu Mall and all that. So it was really good. The response people they know about yes, they've been able to taste this thing. And I was very impressed with two, three gentlemen who I met. They said like. This food is something very very different. The taste itself is so different. So how can we get this food in a long time? Maybe in Bangalore. So now we we are in the process of tying up with some retailers here. Maybe some people like from big big baskets and all that. So they should get this food. The biggest problem here is logistics. We know that we have to ship all the way from Sri Lanka to bring it here to maintain that consistency, to maintain the freshness. So that we have done it. So I'm so thankful to the government for giving us support, especially these farmers that have not been able to come up from the village. So people like people from Mafu, people from Wakhen, people from South Garo Hills, people coming from from Jirang and all that. We have been able to get this kind of exposure. So, so I really thank the, the government of the day because they have been looking so far to help our farmers. And this is a time where we have to to come out and show to the people. We did a very good festival last time for pineapple. Immense potential we have. We have tremendous response we got from the people in Delhi. This time in South India. Next, maybe we will look at something where towards the towards the western part of India. Yeah, actually, of uh, of course, Lulu is the main thing that we have done. Through Lulu, we have called we have called with the uh, big baskets. So, Reliance Press, we are there with them also. I think there should be a good response. I mean, today also after this event, we we will we will ensure that even these local retailers here we have in Bangalore, they should buy this. We don't mind getting it, but just now we just want people to taste, get the exposure of this food, let them feel it, let them taste it, let them give us the response. I'm sure next season. We can capture this market. So whatever we can do, but for that we need to increase the production. So that is why this citrus irrigation program is very, very important. We have 2,000 hectares now under this project for the next four years. We got 36 crores under the budget that we have proposed. Let's go with that. Because you see, when you do rejuvenation program, will not happen just one day. It takes years. Then these fruits, these fruit trees needs to get revived. It has to get all, you know. So the production will increase maybe after maybe five years, maybe after six years, maybe after seven years. This this will will see it later. This I mean the the success of this project or maybe the outcome of this project will see it only after five to six years. For now, we have to focus on the production side, and and the entire chain, the entire system that we are working here is you know earlier we have we cannot control the the system. People will come from outside. We'll bring khasi mandarin seedlings. We don't know whether they are, they are genuine khasi mandarin seedlings or not, but now we can produce it inside our government farms. Why? To maintain the purity, we would like to give the best to the farmers, so that there is no question of getting a spurious uh, planting materials from outside. So this is one we would like to do. So the entire all these uh, government seed farms that we have, we can raise these plants for more more than five lakh plant planting materials, and we can distribute all across the state. So this is one thing we can do. Latwa News' studio says Navinthum update.